Let's say that we have an antenna. We just, um, just some random pole that we stuck up. 20 feet pole, some uh, fishing pole with wire on it or a piece of aluminum tubing. You, know, you bolt it onto your um, deck on the outside. You run some radios out. <coughs> and um, <coughs> you measure the impedance of it. Okay. Of course, if you don't work on it, you know, it's going to be off. <coughs> okay. But you measure some impedance on it. <coughs> and um, <coughs> you check the parallel equivalent. <coughs> I don't have a load on it, but you go to um, <coughs> the mode where you can read the magnitude of impedance. You push a button, that'd give you the series equivalent. Push it again, that'd give you a parallel equivalent. Okay, <coughs> so <coughs> let's, let's check it. And we'll check the uh, impedance of it and we'll read the parallel equivalent of it. <coughs> this is what the parallel equivalent uh, of an antenna might look like. It looks like a resistor that's in parallel with some reactants. In this case, it's a inductor and in parallel with a resistor. Because if um, this is nowhere near 50 ohms, so it's going to have a pretty high SWR. Okay. And then you push a button, and you can read a series equivalent of that. Okay. Uh, it's the same impedance. It's just two different ways of looking at it. One of them is a resistor in series with a reactance. In this case, it's an inductor. The other one is a resistor in parallel with an inductor. And, and you note, well, and it may not be this way, but you can try to see if one of these resistors is closer or close to 50 ohms or not. Okay, in this case, it just happened to be 50 ohms on this <laughs> side. Okay, but there's a lot of reactants here, so uh, you're having the highest WR. Okay, well, in order to match this and give you 50 ohms, this one will be a little bit harder to match. But this one over here, 50 plus J62, 62 ohms of re, uh, inductive reactants, all we got to do is cancel that out. What would you do to cancel that inductance out? Just put a capacitor in there, right? Just stick one right in series with that. Well, one easy way to do it is put a variable capacitor and just tune it until you get a one-to-one -one SWR. And then you can measure that capacitance and put a fixed one in there. <coughs> okay. Uh, so all you have to do is just put an opposite um, reactance in there. And you got a 50 ohm match. That's one use with a series and parallel equivalent impedance. Easy to get. Just one... Uh, um, one push of a button. <clears throat>